Hello, my friends. We are continuing in the historical books of the Old Testament. We're on 1 Samuel, and we're in the reign of Saul, early in the reign of Saul, chapter 11 of 1 Samuel, when this horrific episode takes place. Let's get right into it. It says, Nahash the Ammonite, so this would be one of the enemies of God's people, went up and besieged Jabesh Gilead. So that's a a city among the Israelites. And all the men of Jabesh said to Nahash, make a treaty with us and we will serve you. So they were ready to surrender to this powerful Ammonite warlord. But here's the demand that Nahash Nahash the Ammonite made. On this condition, I will make a treaty with you that I gouge out all your right eyes. A little harsh. And thus bring disgrace on all Israel. So the elders say, well, give us seven days and let's see if anybody will save us. We'll send out messengers. All this is so odd to us, but this is this is the international relations of long ago. So they sent messengers throughout Israel, and came, messengers came eventually to Saul. And Saul is deeply moved by what takes place here. It says they told him the news of the men of Jabesh, and the Spirit of God rushed upon Saul when he heard these words, and his anger was greatly kindled. So this was not just something within Saul. It's a this it's the spirit. And what did Saul do then? He took a yoke of oxen, cut them in pieces, and sent them throughout all the territory of Israel by the hand of the messengers, saying, Whoever does not come out after Saul and Samuel, so shall it be done to his oxen. So Saul is working with Samuel on this. And this message of warning goes out to all the Israelites. And it says that the dread of the Lord fell upon the people. They were, they were afraid. They had the fear of God. And they said, okay, off we go. We've got to. They came out as one man, it says. There were 300,000 who gathered from the northern tribes and then 30,000 from the tribe of Judah in the south. And they said to the messengers who had come, Thus shall you say to the men of Jabesh Gilead, Tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, you shall have salvation. So that was a good message of encouragement to the men of Jabesh Gilead. And they then sent a message to the Ammonites, Tomorrow we will give ourselves up to you, and you may do to us whatever seems good to you. Of course, they knew that help was coming. So they could say that. The next day, Saul put the people in three companies and they came into the midst of the camp in the morning watch and struck down the Ammonites until the heat of the day. And those who survived were scattered so that no two of them were left together. So there were Ammonites that continued, but not together, not together at that point. Now, Uh, The end result of all of this is that Samuel says to the people, Come, let us go to Gilgal and there renew the kingdom. So it's going to be a place of covenant renewal that will take place. So all the people went up to Gilgal and there they made Saul king before the Lord in Gilgal. So we thought, well, haven't they already done that? Well, somehow they're renewing it here and there saying, yes, Lord, our celebration of this victory is to recognize that you have made this man, Saul, to be king. You know, this is, this is one of the best days in Saul's reign. Not every day would be like this. We'll, we'll see very different picture as we move on. But here what they're doing is they sacrifice these peace offerings before the Lord. And there Saul and all the men of Israel rejoiced greatly. So how did this happen? 
that Saul did what he did that day. Well, we were told exactly how it happened. It happened by the Spirit of the Lord. So who gets the glory for this? Well, this is something that God has done. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. You know, that's the reason why we rejoice in the Lord, because God has done it. God has won the great victory. If he uses us, well, still glory to him. Father, thank you so much for the opportunities that we have to serve you. We rejoice in you always, and we give you all glory, for you are God and there is no other. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, friends. You have a wonderful day.